हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ ऑपरेशन रिसर्च दैट इज असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम नाउ लेट्स सी व्हाट इज असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम व्हाट इज नोन एज असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम एक्चुअली द असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम assignment problem is a special case of special case of transportation problem means assignment problem is a special case of transportation problem now what does the condition here in which in which each demand each demand and supply each demand and supply value is exactly one exactly one in assignment problem in assignment problem origin as jobs and destinations as destinations as facilities destinations as facilities now let me explain you in short in transportation problem you know that is concerned with the transportation of any product to the corresponding destinations and all fine so here the assignment problem is basically considered for the jobs and the facilities means suppose there are uh, n jobs and n facilities but that n jobs or the n number of people have to assign n jobs to us so each person doesn't get each job so we have to assign a particular job to that person so that the the salary of them at the aggregate salary of those n people should be what less so that the company get a profit so means what the company should get a profit to uh, appoint the n people but the their salary should be in budget in their budget so for those problems we will solve this type of problem assignment problem that's why here demand and supply should be what one the origin should be used one and demand should be what one only one people is required there and one people should get a job there that is a part that's why each demand and supply value is exactly what one here now what is here the objective the objective of assignment problem assignment problem is to assign is to assign or allocate one job to one job to each facility one job to each facility in such a way that in such a way that cost is in such a way that the cost is minimum associated associated to each associated to each assignment problem associated to each assignment problem 
there is a matrix there is a matrix called as there is a matrix called as effectiveness effectiveness matrix effectiveness matrix or cost matrix or cost matrix that is denoted by c and g where where c i j is the cost is the cost of assigning is the cost of assigning ith job ith job to jth facility when b number of jobs when the number of jobs equals to equals to number of facilities number of facilities the problem is called problem is called asked balanced as balanced assignment balanced assignment problem otherwise otherwise it is unbalanced otherwise it is unbalanced now in this case the cost matrix is a square matrix therefore in this case the cost matrix is a square matrix when number of jobs when number of jobs is not equal to number of number of facilities d problem is the problem is unbalanced problem is unbalanced in this case in this case the matrix in this case the matrix is not square matrix is not square matrix but we can make but we can make it we can make it square by adding dummy row or column rows or columns we should say so that it may be more sometime and not necessary a single one rows and rows or columns with with zero cost entries just like a transportation problem here also if it will be unbalanced so here 
the matrix should be cost matrix should be a square matrix then it will be balanced if it is not then it will be unbalanced if it is unbalanced we should make it a square matrix by adding either a dummy row or a column with zero cost entries we may have we may have the cost matrix as follows for balanced for balanced assignment for balanced assignment problem how does it let's see it will be of the type here jobs and here facilities jobs and facilities so here suppose we have n jobs n jobs and here the facilities n facilities n facilities fine so here the cost are just like a previous one c11 c12 c13 and so on up to what c1n n. n by n it should be n by n then it will be balanced so we are seeing the example or the generalization for balanced assignment problem this is c21 c22 c23 and so on up to c2n c31 c32 c33 and so on up to c3n then cn1 cn2 cn3 and so on up to cnn and here what supply and here demand and you know according to the condition of assignment problem the supply should be what one for each and the demand is also what one for each it will be one so it will become a balance the supply and demand the addition should be what n here because these are uh, one how many times n times fine now here let's see further the mathematical the mathematical formulation of formulation of assignment problem assignment problem is as follows is as follows what does it let x i j equal to 0 if i the job is not assigned assigned to j the facility j the what facility okay and it will be 1 if it will be 0 if i the job is not assigned to j the facility and it will be 1 if i the job is assigned to j the facility it is assigned it is not then 0 it will be assigned then 1 therefore the model the model model means what the uh, we can say linear programming problem of assignment problem assignment problem is it will be LPP representation of 
assignment problem is as follows we have to minimize what the cost so minimize minimize z equal to summation summation i from 1 to n j from 1 to n c i j x i j c i j x i j subject to subject to the constraints what are the constraints summation x i j equal to 1 j from 1 to n i goes from 1 to n fine and and what summation x i j that is also 1 for i is equal to 1 to n because the supply should be 1 demand should be 1 so this addition should be 1 this addition should be 1 such allocations we need there fine so summation x i j is 1 for i and for here i will write for j is equal to what 1 to n as such such a that such a that that what x i j is what greater equal 0 you know here this x i j is either 0 or what 1 it will be either 0 or 1 basically here according to our assumption i the job is not assigned to j the facility then it will be 0 and i the job is assigned to j the facility then it will be 1 it doesn't have any other value it will be greater or equal 0 but it is either 0 or 1 only these are the possibilities here now here there will be no any method to determine the initial basic feasible solution here directly we have to go for optimal solution so let me tell you what was that the optimal solution to assignment problem is obtained by Hungarian method or reduced matrix method let me tell you what does it so optimum optimum solution to assignment problem assignment problem now the assignment problem is here onwards we will denote it by ap just like in the transportation problem we have denoted it by tp so remember don't make a confusion here it is not arithmetic progression while it is assignment problem remember that here we have to see a hungarian method hungarian method or reduced or reduced matrix method reduced matrix method okay so let's see what does it the systematic procedure the systematic procedure systematic procedure to obtain to obtain the optimal solution systematic procedure to obtain the optimal solution of an assignment problem is mainly based on is mainly based on is mainly based on the theorems based on the theorems proved by that theorem proved by or those theorems proved by Hungarian mathematician Koenig Hungarian mathematician Hungarian mathematician Koenig Koenig it states that what does that theorem it states that it states that if 
if a constant element if a constant element is added or subtracted constant element is added or subtracted from every element from every element of any from every element of any row or column in the given in the given cost matrix in the given cost matrix and assignment an assignment that minimizes an assignment that minimizes the total cost minimizes the total cost in one matrix also minimizes also minimizes total cost total cost in the other in the other revised matrix in the other revised matrix this is a statement what does it say if a constant element is added or subtracted from every element of any row or column in a given cost matrix an assignment that minimizes the total cost of one matrix also minimizes the total cost of the other revised matrix means these matrices whatever we will revise those are equivalent and that gives a minimum assignment uh, minimum cost for assign those assignments that is the meaning of this one now here we will stop for this video in next video we will see examples on this one okay thank you